ACM City One is a lean green microcar that its makers hope will soon help electrify the streets of emerging countries in Africa and Asia. Anybody who has heard of uh, ACM, who has seen the vehicles, they appreciate how uh, beautifully simple and how a wonderfully utilitarian it is. No frills design and child's play to charge, an e-car for everyone. This is the people's car. Yeah? It's a people's it's car, an electric car vehicle for the masses, uh, for people the all across the planet. The car was co-developed by German engineer and mobility pioneer Paul Leibold together with Munich-based Adaptive City Mobility, or ACM. Of course, there's a need for a vehicle that serves the general population. Straightforward, scaled down, affordable, and with a workable energy solution. And in terms of the engineering we've developed here, yes, it really could be the new Beetle. In the mid-20th century, the VW Beetle helped fuel mass motorization in Germany and the rest of the world. A success story based on low production costs and simple engineering. A recipe now being repeated by ACM. A people's car for the contemporary world, running on electric power through the megacities of Asia and Africa. And you can swap the battery in a matter of minutes. Should you at some point run out of energy, we have these battery suitcases, like the old swappable batteries. Plus, you can charge up the main battery installed at the front using a regular household power socket. Eight hours later, the ACM is ready to roll for the next 200 kilometers, ideal for regions bereft of charging stations. Our aim was to accelerate e-mobility worldwide. If you want to meet the Paris climate goals, it's no good having two-ton electric SUVs here in wealthy Western industrial nations. Luxury products only accessible for 15 or 20 percent of the global population. We need to find a solution for everybody fast. The car has a robust construction to deal with less than ideal road conditions. Unlike bigger manufacturers, ACM is primarily targeting taxi firms, leasing companies and other fleet operators. The City One is set to cost just under 10,000 euros when it hits the market in Asia in 2023. And it's clearly in high demand, with advance orders already at 300,000 across Asia and Africa. There is a very clear latent demand for sensible electric vehicles that can work with existing electricity infrastructure. And uh, ACM's uh, City One has an innovative energy solution which allows for operations of electric vehicle fleets in uh, countries like India from day one without having to wait for fast chargers, which is also a big challenge in such countries. The City One is three and a half meters long, but can seat five people. Or fold down the rear bench and you have a mini delivery van on your hands. Our briefing from the off was ensuring maximum space with minimum dimensions and being both a people and a cargo carrier. The makers have also devised a digital platform for maximizing the City One's use 24-7. So, depending on demand, cars can be deployed on an hourly basis for courier services, car sharing, or as taxis. This digital platform, which caters to a range of different customers, makes optimum use of capacity. It means having fewer cars on the road, but with higher utilization. So we're reducing traffic volume, while at the same time sharing the costs. And the total cost of ownership per kilometer becomes far lower for all users. There's even a screen integrated into the tailgate for displaying real-time digital advertising on the go, an extra source of income for City One owners. We set out to make the cheapest urban fleet vehicle anywhere. In addition to the hardware, it's the money from services that massively reduces the costs and enables the fleet operators to boost turnover. 
And that helps us to make these electric vehicles accessible to everyone in emerging markets, too. ACM began developing the car back in 2012 with funding from the German government. After previously working on largely fruitless sustainable mobility projects with BMW, Paul Leibold developed a series of prototypes with a team of independent experts. The engineer drew inspiration from his globe-trotting travels, with Thailand in particular providing food for thought when creating the ACM City One. We used to speed around Bangkok in tuk-tuks, which was a really different road experience. It's a completely scaled-down vehicle with open sides where you feel the air. I always had that in mind, an alternative kind of urban mobility. And on downtown roads, small vehicles can be even more fun than bigger ones. But the initial vision was first followed by frustration. The makers faced a major obstacle, how to find sufficient funding to power the idea of electric mass mobility. The toughest aspect was always the financial side. On the technology and solution front, it wasn't hard to find interested parties. But then there were the funding hurdles, which got higher and higher. The investment input increases as you approach volume production. The project has been on the brink of financial failure a number of times, but Paul Leibold refused to give up on the venture, keeping the bigger picture in mind. Climate change knows no national borders, of course. Two-thirds of the world's population live in regions where it will be many years until they have modern infrastructure for electric mobility. But time is of the essence. Because in cities like the Indian capital Delhi, air pollution is at shockingly high levels. The metro area is home to around 30 million people. And the accompanying cars, buses and mopeds translate into a lot of emissions. I am in Delhi right now, and we can definitely do with more uh, clean and compact cars like ACM, uh, taking the burden from uh, aging uh, diesel and petrol cars. So my vision is for us to rapidly introduce radical solutions across the board and above all, implement them. We really need to get a move on, in a concerted effort, to stop making these poor compromises. Paul Leibold is on a mission to push electric mobility on a global scale. The ACM City One is on the starting blocks. Currently still at the prototype stage, it could soon be a common sight on roads all around the world.